Now I'm, I've got on my discount glasses. <laughs> I forgot to had them on. I have been doing tiny soldering, so these are like special magnifying glasses with LEDs on anyway. All up and running. All I need to do is pick up a speaker frame, although it works perfectly without the speaker frame. Although she gets a bit muffled, her voice gets a bit... Hang on. She won't do it now. It's like the speaker's touching the grip. On my own personal lux, I take the speaker out. I only use the speaker when I'm programming. Um, and I take the joystick out. I'll tell you what, actually, I might put my speaker frame in this. Because I don't use the speaker. When, I only use the speaker for programming. And I have... <laughs> Um, oh, I where it's gone there. Ah, yes, you see, I have a speaker with a really long wire on. I only plug this in when I'm programming. Otherwise, I don't use it, because when you've heard it 50,000 times, novelty wears off, you know what I mean? Let's guess this up. This is, at the moment, it's a Dweller 10. Uh, I'm shooting re-balls, there's no first shot, drop. Um, it's got the aftermarket bolt system in there. Which is, oh it's a hollow front. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was a flat front or not. Don't like the flat fronts. I don't want to fire it too much because of the neighbours. So I'm going to turn it down. Turn it down just to there. So it sounds like it's on the lowest regulator setting. Still, just still a bit too loud. I don't want to upset my neighbours. Here we are. It's the big boy. Big boy. Hey, big boy. Remember, these silencers only work when there's a ball in them. Not that this is a silencer, it's a rain cover. Oh, it's in RT mode at the moment. I should let us use RT mode at tournaments. Not wrong with our team, mate. Anyway, so look, this is, for all intents and purposes, a brand new Lux. Although uh, I have made a lot of it out of warranty parts, okay? So the frame is ex warranty. Well, actually, it wasn't in warranty. Superman dived on it, ripped the bolts out. He bought a new frame. He gave me the old frame. Uh, the red body was warranty, um, had a leak on it, although I fixed that obviously. Uh, Lux America gave us a new uh, body. I said to Lux America, do you want the old one back? And I went, nah, do what you want with it. Uh, nice one, thank you, Hans. Um, well, oh, oh me. This is, uh, it's not switched on, is it? Ah, excellent old time. So this is running absolutely spiffing. I'm going to put my uh, speaker frame in here. Um, it does have brown. <laughs> this is, hey, it will also have a brown feed net when you get it, okay? It won't have the silver one. The silver one's just on here for the time being. Uh, yeah, sorry, dudes. You're going to get a brown feed neck and these brown eye colours. However, I will do that full uh, red freak front there. Yeah? Um, I've been building this quite a while. Um, and this is, this is El Minterino. So uh, I'm going to be putting this up on the paintball sites. Um, for all intents and purposes, it's a brand new gun. It now has a 2.0 board in it. Um, brand new battery. Well, brand new battery-ish. It's a brand new battery out of my poo gun. And of course, I've hardly ever used my poo gun. The only person who did use my poo gun scratched it, covered it in wool, um, just left it sitting in a fucking puddle. Um, Hmm. Uh, that's really rock and roll man uh, £450 remember these are £1200 a pop new right? as it stands right now with a speaker frame in it £450 quid. Um, the reason I'm doing that is um, so you can see the bottom of the screw here which you wouldn't normally see on a standard gun that is where I had to do the repair not that it makes any difference, you don't touch it, you're nowhere near it. Some people like me are fussy, aren't they? But I'm thinking 450 is a fair price. <gasps> and um, 
it's a lovely surface as well. There's no marks on it. That's ready for engraving, baby. Anyway, I'm out of here. It's Sunday. I've got my hat on. I'm sitting here in my pants, so I'm not going to stand up. Look, oh, mummy, mummy, look. There's, there's a very small mouse wearing a pullover. <laughs> Clever for cat saying, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, we're all done. I'll be posting this up on UKS. Uh, I'm going to have some stuff coming up on eBay soon as well. Um, yeah, good guns, man. Good guns. No, great guns. As in the product and in... Everything's going pretty well. <laughs> um, anything else we've got to show you? <sighs> Bald repairs. Stop breaking the dyes off your balls, you lot. And, um, yeah, we're done. See you later. Oh, quickie, I'll tell you what, um, I've had another couple of people approach me, obviously they've been watching the hybrid vids, and uh, they've still got some ion sitting in their kit bag, and they were like, well, how much would it cost us for you to turn our ions into one of the hybrids? And um, I think you're looking at uh, the feed neck, and feed neck part will cost me about 30 quid. Uh, I've got to get a body, so that's about another 40 quid. 70 in parts. Uh, and then obviously I've got to make some money out of it, yeah? So I reckon to do an ion to hybrid conversion, you're looking at about 120 quid. It's nothing too outrageous. Um, there's no aftermarket bodies available on the uh, marketplace anymore for the ion. Which is a real pity. I know DW have stopped producing them. Which is a real pity. I really, really like their products. So. Uh, but apart from that, if you want one done, can't give us a shout, alright? <laughs> Until later, I'm off for some grub. I'll go out with Kev. I'm going to go with some poem mesh. <laughs> See you later, buds. Tell her.